So I'm finally back filming a video, you know, um, it's wedding season and I am a working makeup artist. So I did get a little bit busy there for a minute. And um, my daughter is about to be six months old. So I'm still working this out. Cause... So we're gonna jump right back in with an empties video. And if you hear a couple of noises, this is what they are. My daughter is over there in a doorway in a jumping chair um, because it's the best thing ever invented and she loves it. And if you hear this weird plasticky kind of chomping noise, one of my dogs is chewing on a bone down there. Anyway, so I've been remembering to actually keep the stuff that I run out of and I've been more conscious of trying to use stuff up lately instead of just purchasing stuff and then just having a crap ton of stuff. Anyway. We're gonna jump right in. And if you've watched my videos for any length of time, what is an empty video without a pack of cotton rounds? These are just the Kroger ones. They're like a dollar. I go through them so fast. They're great. They're cotton rounds. There's nothing fabulous about them. I have been using these lemon cleansing wipes from Clean and Clear. I've gone through so many of these. They're nice, they're refreshing. They make my skin feel super clean and I really enjoy them. They get makeup off really well too. A couple things from Bath and Body Works. I thought I used all this up, but there's a little bit left. Um, this is the Aromatherapy Sleep Black Chamomile Body Wash. I tend to shower at night before I go to bed and this really does help kind of relax and calm you down. It's a really nice scent. Now this was really sad. This went bad. I've had this for so long. I found it under my sink and was like, oh, I'm gonna use this. I put it on one day and literally had to get back in the shower. Um, it's the Golden Honey Praline Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. And I loved this when I bought it, but I'm really bad about putting lotion on. So this went bad on me and I, so yes, it was bad. It's so bad, so it's leaving. Next are these MAC Gently Off Wipes plus micellar water. So this is the pink pack. If you're gonna buy MAC Cosmetics wipes, buy the ones in the pink pack because you can use the ones in the pink pack around your eyes um, because they are super gentle. Next, I've got three different bottles of Fix Plus here. I've got an original, a mini cucumber, and a pink light. The pink light is the shimmery one. I like this one more for body than I do for face because I wear a lot of highlighters, so I don't really see the effect of this on my face like I do my body. And then the original one is my end all be all favorite. I use, I go through this stuff like it's water. And if you want a great dewy hydrating face mist, Fix Plus is where it's at for me. Moving right along. I've got a couple concealers here. I have a ColourPop no filter concealer. I really enjoy this, but I think this shade was too light for me. So I did purchase it the next shade up. And then I have the MAC Studio Fix 24 hour concealer. If you are wanting to get a concealer from MAC, please try this because this stuff is amazing. It doesn't move, it doesn't budge, it's full coverage, it's great. It definitely reminds me of Tarte Shape Tape even though it's got a tiny, tinier doe foot. This is one of my favorite concealers. I love this stuff. Then I have the Sunday Riley, the Influencer Clean Longwear Foundation. I really liked this. However, I'm not gonna repurchase it because there is still a good amount in here. But the last time I wore it, it had gone off. I don't think I've even had this for a year. Did really like this though. So if this was like your only foundation you were using, you probably wouldn't have a problem with it going bad, but I rotate foundations constantly because I am a foundation junkie and are I mean I go through these constantly too my favorites hands down are the real techniques sponges the orange ones not and then I have this I think was the cool beauty blender I'm I wasn't wild about this one I'm not normally wild about the ones they bring out in different colors just buy the pink one, just buy the pink one. Got a couple of brow products here. This is my Holy Grail MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. It's the marker on one end, and then it has a powder on the other. I never use the powder, ever. But I love how thin this marker is. Make it look very feathered and natural. And then I have the Benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade 2.5. This was the shade Lingering, by the way. Um, 
This was a newer shade. I think I had used a darker shade previously and I just did not like this shade. I love this brow pencil, didn't like this shade. Like I said, it's ridiculous. This is just another regular Fix Plus and then a mini watermelon. I also have a MAC brush cleaner here. I love this stuff. It's very good brush cleaner. I enjoy it and it gets my brushes really clean and it dries fast. Got another pack of wipes here. I have the MAC Lightful C with Coral Glass Cleanser. They have reformulated this um, and I knew that when I bought it, but I preferred it, I think, before. Not, don't get me wrong, I still really liked this cleanser and it's great because it's got a very high potency vitamin C in it and it really makes my skin feel clean. I think I just preferred the old formulation and that's completely personal. But this, oh, I depotted this, so I'm gonna back to MAC it. I don't have no idea what color it was because it's in a palette. This I think is the lavender, yeah, this is a lavender one. Moving right along. I've got another Shape and Shade brow tint in Lingering. I use the same things over and over and over again. Um, this is the Brush Stroke Liner in Brush Black. Don't buy the brown one, it's dumb. The color's weird, it's, it's not dark enough in my opinion. But this is a fabulous eyeliner. Um, oh yeah? What you talking about? Fabulous eyeliner, I love this one. It's very similar to the Kat Von D one. It's got a very nice, fine brush tip on it. I love this one. It's great. It's black. It lasts a really long time. It's a great eyeliner. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have another Fix Plus Pink Light. I've then got a cleanse off oil. I love matte cleanse off oil because it doesn't leave a weird residue on my skin because it turns into like a milk once water hits it. So it takes all your makeup off, comes right off, doesn't strip your skin. It's great. It's mini lavender, mini rose. Put those over there. Um, let's see. A couple random things. This is the Bosha Saki Bright White Mask. This is like a peel off mask. I've had this for so long. I found it under my sink and I don't mess around with expired skincare. And then I have a sample of the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Tonic. I didn't like this. I just didn't, I don't think it did anything. I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Then I have a Clinique All About Eyes here. This is the eye cream that I use consistently because I have super consistently, did I say that right? Whatever. I have super dry skin, even up around under my eyes. And this stuff is fabulous. It works great. I like this for in the morning, like under makeup. But if I'm not gonna be putting makeup on, this is way better. I definitely recommend the All About Eyes. This stuff is fabulous. This is good, but I think this hydrates my under eyes better. MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. I really like this. It's a great primer. It's nothing fancy, but I have dry skin. So I really, truthfully, just need something to keep my makeup out of my pores. And this is fabulous. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite mascara that MAC makes is the Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash. I love this stuff. It's a really great uh, full mascara, but you can also get a really natural look out of it too. I I love it. It's fabulous. Um, this is the Shape and Shade Brow Tint in Fling. This is the other shade that I like. Then I have several MAC lipsticks in here. Um, I used up a Fling um, Veluxe Brow from MAC as well. But anyway, I have several lipsticks in here that I'm just, really I'm just gonna give them to somebody to back to MAC because they're not something I'm gonna use and they're discontinued anyway. So I have Dew, which is a very pretty color, but I'm not gonna use it. I've got Wild Extract, and then I have Stone. All three of these have been discontinued, so they're just, they're just leaving. Then I have gone through, I'm pretty sure, a painterly and a soft ochre paint pot. I've used both of them up. These can be worn by themselves or under eyeshadow. I love them. I just use them both the same way. I interchange them. I do soft ochre if I want my eyes to be brighter and painterly just as a base. Then 
more stuff. I have an NC10 and an NC15 of the Studio Fix powder. I love these. They're my favorite powder foundation, not just because I work for MAC, but really literally they are my favorite powder foundation. They're great. They're full coverage. They last on my skin all day. I don't need to touch them up. And I kind of mix NC10 and NC15. I'll do NC10 under my eyes and in the middle of my face, and then I'll do NC15 everywhere else. This is a Crystal Glaze Gloss. They come out with these periodically in collections. They had one in the Aladdin collection. I love these as like sleeping masks because they're super thick and they stay on really nicely. I have another lipstick that's leaving. This is the Powder Kiss Lipstick in Burning Love. Um, it broke. I'm not gonna wear it because it broke. I'm not gonna fight with it to put it on, so it's just gonna be back to Mac. Um, I have another Velux brow pencil here. I've got another Studio Fix concealer here. Really? My dog got a hold of my Nivea lip balm. Great. This is the YSL Youth Liberator Forever Concentrate. I really like this. I love this so much, but I just cannot justify spending $150 on this. This was a gift. That's why I have it. Um, yeah, but I can't justify spending $150 on skincare right now, especially when I have a six month old, maybe before, but I can't anymore. So, <sighs> sad day. Then I have a, just a lingering regular MAC brow pencil, which is the shade that I use is lingering. Um, I've got an extended, not an extended play and an extreme dimension <laughs> mascara which is my other favorite mascara from them. Um, then I have a Kush Brow Gel from Milk Makeup. This is really good, but I'm currently using the Rimmel Brow Gel, and I think it's a dupe for this. It goes on the same way, it looks the same in my brows, but then again, it's a brow gel, so are they really all that different? I have a MAC Mineralize Concealer. This is my other favorite concealer from MAC. This is more like my no fuss, no must days. I just need a concealer and it looks really good and gives really good coverage despite it being kind of thinner. Um, I have a sample of the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel Mascara. Actually, my best friend is a counter manager for Chanel. So I did buy the full size of this. I love it. It's a great mascara. It's expensive, but it's a fabulous mascara. Then I've got two more things in here. I have the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in Pee Off, which is just a brown. It's gone bad. I don't know why I buy brown lipsticks. I like the, I think it's because I like the idea of a brown lipstick, but... Then I have this sample of the Revolution Super Fruit Extract. That's what this is called. That's, it's just a little sample of it. I liked this enough to repurchase it. No, I don't really think so, but um, I did like it. It was good. Anyway, oh, and then this is not the only essential oil I've gone through. We go through essential oils in this house like crazy because my boyfriend calls me a hippy dippy flower child. Anyway, this is Serenity. I use this in my little girl's diffuser because it kind of helps calm the brain, calms you down, gets you ready to go to sleep. This is really good. I believe I have this in the mail on the way. I've definitely repurchased. And that is it for all of my empties. And a lot of it was Mac because I work for Mac. And those are the things that I go through the most because it's what I have the most of. But hopefully in the future, since I'm working through all of my products and not just constantly buying stuff, there will be different things. So those are my empties. That was my trash. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, hit the bell notification button, which is around somewhere. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.